Hey, what's up? I'm Tyler with Cloudwalkers Creations and I'm back with another customization video. Today, I'm gonna be customizing some New Balance 411s. These are supposed to be real, real comfy shoes. These are for uh, my coworker's girlfriend. He said she was complaining about her skate shoes she'd been wearing hurting her feet and that she wants some comfy stuff and he wanted them to look dope. So he hit me up to paint some of these for him. He likes my camo design and he said she likes blue. So I'm gonna put those two together and see what we can come up with. Let's go. Another big shout out to my boy Josh, Artie Mick Productions for always hooking it up with some dope beats. Right here, I'm just going, laying out all of the outlines for the camo pattern. I have to draw them all out before I paint them because I have to uh, make a specific design so that the four colors that I end up using don't end up going together and running into each other. It's a little bit of a process, but you gotta do it in order to make it look clean and have the end result be exactly the way that I want it. There we go, that's the whole shoe covered in the pattern. Just gotta mix up the colors and start painting. You already know we're using Angelus Leather Paints on these, again with the GAC 900, because these shoes are not leather. You need to mix them with the GAC 900 Fabric Medium in order to paint on these kind of shoes but here we go just laying the first coats of all these colors all these shades of blue really like these different shades kind of a oceany very chill kind of vibe this is the long longest part of the process because i have to again go in a very specific order with each different color i gotta wash off that old color put on the new one and get the order of all these camo colors in you can see when i go to the second coat of all this it's a lot faster because i'm able to just go over the old coats i'll, I'll get the dark blue and i can do every one of those shapes and then i can go to the lighter blue and so on but when i'm doing the first coat like this i have to do each color individually and it's more painstaking, takes longer, kind of a pain, but it is the way that it has to go to make this end up the way that I love it. And I really am a huge fan of the camo pattern. It's a staple in my art. All right, now you can see I'm going over the more teal color all the way over, everything that I can reach, the dark blue, way way faster doing the second coat so you can see how crazy the difference is from the first coat to the second coat really really makes it look more legit yeah you can definitely see it all coming together now these were a really fun pair to do i love doing my camo design i love getting to do different variations of it these are for my boy Baldo's girlfriend. She likes blue and likes the camo designs that I do. So that's what he told me to do. Almost done with that. Here we go. The white outline. This is probably the best part. You can see the shape and the form of all these camo designs. And it really pulls everything together, makes it start to pop. Other than this, uh, my friend Baldo told me that he wants some kind of daisies maybe somewhere on the shoe. I told him I'd do it and decided that they would look dope on the back. Make a nice big white daisy on the back of both of these shoes. A little outline, and that's pretty much it. I screwed up. I was really in a hurry to get these out to the customer that I did not film an outro. So this is what we got. This is the finished product. Love, love the way that it looks out in the sun. Super popping. But yeah, that's this one. Subscribe for more customization videos. Got lots more shoes on the way. Thanks for watching.